Hello everybody, Whisker Fear here. And if you watched my video a little while ago about my TV, uh, you would see that my TV has no S video inputs. So I tried to get around that by using this little device here from eBay I found. It's the video to VGA converter. So this will essentially take your S video inputs and your composite and it'll out it'll output them as a VGA signal. So you can use this to hook up S video devices to your TV if they don't have an S video input. Of course it has to have a VGA input. Now the buttons on the front here, this is actually pretty small by the way. It's about as big as your hand. So it's very small. I was surprised how small this was. Uh, but this button here will select between AV and S video. This will also zoom, which I don't use. This is your picture-in-picture -picture function, which is interesting, but I never used it. Uh, the mode button selects between uh, resolutions. And the menu button you can use to edit the saturation, brightness, and contrast. And the PP button just selects between different, different preset picture modes. And this is the back here once again. This is your VGA out. This is your S video and composite in. And also has a VGA bypass. So that's the box. And this is the little manual it came with. Uh, just a very basic manual. Uh, this does not have a this does not have a USB port on it though. So this is kind of incorrect. This is the basic description. Uh, the translation is also kind of poor. The whole family shares one computer, watching movies and playing games on the internet. Well, that's a very interesting statement, but nothing to do with this thing. Maybe at one certain occasion you need to change the VGA signals into video or S-video signals. The movies you downloaded from the internet can be entirely combined to the family cinema. So that's pretty cool, family cinema. And this will output all these resolutions, and it will also output 1080p, though I didn't notice it make a difference in picture quality. So anyway, uh, let's take this box and hook it up and see how it performs. Okay, so here's the little setup I have here. This is already hooked up. This is the VGA cable going to my TV. This is the S video cable going into this little selector box. And same for this composite cable. Now this does require a little power source. It comes with a little comes with a little um it's a little power adapter. So you plug that in here. And then there you go. Now there's no light on here or anything. But it's always on as long as you have it plugged in. Now this thing does get very hot. It gets it there's a little vent on top here, but this thing does get very hot for some reason. I don't know why. So when I'm not using it, I unplug it. Just for safety. So anyway. Let's turn this thing on and see how it performs. Okay, so this is what it looks like on your TV. When you have the device plugged in and powered on, but you don't have any signals going through it. Just shows this blue screen. Now I had the Dreamcast going through the selector box, and through this, through this converter, and to the TV. So we're going to turn it on and see what comes up. So, as we can see, it does come up, and here's the main menu, and it does look better than composite, even when going through this uh, converter box. Um, you know, and there's no input lag at all, just like there is just plugged in directly to the TV. There, there is no input lag. The colors look good. So we're going to pop a disc in here and see how gameplay is. Let's see, what game should we put in? Uh, I don't know. Let's just put in Sonic Adventure, why not? All right, 
let's see how this loads. Alright, let's play. Now the only thing I notice is that there are some bars going through the screen a little bit. Which is pretty much the only negative I have with it. But you can see though that... I mean hopefully you can tell, but, uh, but that actually looks pretty good. So that is, that's what it looks like going through the, going through the selector box and going through the, the video to VGA converter. Now, the only one other thing I'm going to show you is what different resolutions look like. You can use the mode button on the bottom here on the box to choose between resolutions. The mode button. Uh, this is 1440 by 900. This is 1680 by 1050. This is 1920 by 1200. This is 800 by 600. This is 75 hertz, which actually makes the picture a little more jerky. This is 1024 by 768. This is 75 hertz, the same resolution. This is 1280 by 1024. And 75 hertz. This is 1366 by 768. 1600 by 900. Yeah. Then here we are back to back to 1920 by 1080, which is the TV's native resolution. So there really isn't much difference between them all. The only difference is the lower resolutions may look a little bigger, uh, but the quality, the sharpness, and all is about the same. So another quick demo here. So once again, this is playing in 1080p technically. Uh, this is being upconverted. And it looks pretty good. The only negative is that there is a little bit of a... Uh, uh, there is a little bit of a little rainbow effect. a little bit of pixelation, but other than that, it's really not that noticeable when it's on bright colors. So anyway though, this is the video to VGA converter you can find on eBay for about 20 bucks. So it's not too expensive. So hope you all enjoyed this Whisker Fear and I will see you all next time.